This semester and last semester, we've been working on a market pavilion and an outdoor kitchen for the Marion Hunt Community Library here in Muncie. Place for meeting from the community as well as the Southside Elementary School, which is located nearby. They can come out with smaller groups and classes and sit in this pavilion, learn about nature, and have an outdoor class space as well. The structure we've been building is important because it's going to enhance the Marion Hunt view to the community as not just being a library, it's, you know, it's a 21st century learning experience for the whole community. We believe in this idea that the things we know are tools to be used by the community. They aren't tools for us to force onto people. And I think that's been a really sort of large takeaway, is this idea that we get to go out there and actually experience the process of making from design to fruition and structure and three-dimensional form, and then even farther to, to when it's inhabited, to when it's used by the people that have been there the entire time telling us if they do and don't like it. The impact that this has on the students is really tremendous. They're all fourth year students or graduate students. The opportunity it provides to realize a, an actual project, first and foremost. Work with a real client, with budget, scheduling, a number of issues that within a hypothetical design studio project they don't have to consider or think about. Each of these skills and responsibilities that the students have allows our group to function very well together because they have an individual expertise that they're responsible for while also collectively being a part of the overall um, project and its completion. Several of my classmates that are not in my studio are working on projects that are going to be on their computer. And I think that's a big topic and sort of the issue with town gown dynamics is that we're always on our computers in our classrooms doing this type of work. So we're, when we're in our classroom, we're not necessarily working with the community. We're not using our gaining expertise to sort of go back and, and help the realities that we're facing. And I think that's sort of why it's wonderful for us, is that we're taking four years of pretty intensive training in the field of architecture and then going out there and utilizing that in a truly beneficial way, not just for the sake of capital or for the sake of something that's really pretty, but all in all for the sake of it, it lasting as something worth being there for the people that use it.